Soon after the results were declared, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, in a telephonic interview to Northeast Live editor in chief Mr. Wazbir Hussain, termed the victory as a mandate of the people in favor of the government. I am now joined by the Chief Minister of Meghalaya and leader of the NPP, Mr. Conrad Sangma. Mr. Conrad Sangma, congratulations. Your party has won two of the three seats in the just concluded by-elections. What does this indicate? Uh, thank you so much, Vasudev. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, this election has been a mandate for this government because uh, we and our coalition partner, the UDP, we have won all the three seats. So two have gone to NDP and one has gone to UDP. So it is a clear indication and a clear mandate uh, towards the development-oriented work of this government. And I would like to thank the people of uh, these three constituencies who have voted and ensured the victory uh, of the three uh, candidates of the government ruling party, which is UDP and the NPP. And I also thank all the other political parties that have supported our candidates in this election, especially our coalition partners. Well, it's a very fascinating story uh, in Meghalaya, you know, because take the case of Rajabala seat in Garo Hills where uh, the NPP candidate has won. And now, uh, who were your opponents? Your, your main opponents there, two of the main opponents were from your coalition partners, that's the UC, UDP and the BJP. Uh, and uh, Congress, of course, uh, was there. So uh, is this going to be the trend in the um, uh, state elections uh, in about one year, three months from now? Uh, well, uh, of course, uh, the coalition partners uh, are independent parties, so they are obviously have the right to contest the elections. But uh, if you've seen that uh, the main contest with, uh, in Rajabala was with the Congress, similarly the main contest in uh, Maplang also was with, uh, with the Congress for the UDP, and uh, the fight in Modern Kling is again with the Congress here in, uh, in Modern Kling. So the contest had been for the candidates who had won was with the Congress, and uh, yes, in the coming elections, uh, we respect each individual party, but obviously we uh, look to work together in the future also. And there is definitely a talk that's going on where we will examine and we'll see the perspective of us uh, fighting as one unit as an NDA government, respecting each other's uh, you know, uh, space and respecting each other's uh, uh, constituencies uh, and ideologies of the parties and see where we could adjust. So that kind of thought process also is on. And uh, we will examine, but yes, uh, since being independent parties, they, everybody has a right to contest in the elections. Absolutely. Now, uh, Mr. Conrad Sangma, you just said that uh, the verdict where, uh, where you know, uh, NPP and its alliance partners have won all the three seats in Meghalaya, you said that this verdict uh, is a mandate on the programs and policies of your government. Uh, now, now, basically, uh, what does this mean uh, for 2023? Uh, what lessons uh, uh, has this verdict taught you? Do you does, does it make you much more responsible as far as performance is concerned in the next one year or a little more than that? Um, absolutely. You're absolutely right. Um, you see, every election is different. So one cannot uh, simply link with the performance in this election and say that uh, things are going to be fine in the next election. Uh, people will uh, you know, look at every election differently. The public will vote based on the issues and the development that they see. So there is no room for any kind of complacency by anybody, and especially the government. Uh, we need to ensure that we continue working even harder than what we were earlier. And obviously, as political parties also, we need to ensure that we uh, organize ourselves uh, you know, much in advance and work much harder than what we were. Um, as elections are always tough, so one cannot take election for granted. And it will be very wrong on our part to simply look at this result and uh, you know, expect uh, that the trend will be positive uh, in the next election. That would be very wrong on our part. So we are happy. We thank the people for the mandate and for the support they've shown in this election. But it also means that we as a government and as political parties need to work much harder. My final question to you, uh, you see, I mean, take the case of Assam, where also all the five seats in Assam were won by the BJP and its alliance partner. The only seat in Mizoram was also won by the MNF, which is again a part of the NDA. Now, it, now, now, it is clear that, uh, you know, the a Congress MOOC Northeast, that's what the BJP slogan has been uh, for a long time now. So do you think that is turning into a, re a reality slowly but surely? Uh, the trends uh, seem to be indicating towards that. And uh, I don't just see the Northeast. I think it's also throughout the country. Uh, the Congress is facing a lot of internal problems. 
And there's a lot of uh, analysts have mentioned that, uh, you know, they're not being able to uh, accept those issues and then address them. So yes, there is an internal organizational uh, problem. I'm not, I'm nobody to comment on their organization. I'm just giving my observations. So therefore, uh, yes, there is a problem. And uh, uh, clearly, these elections, uh, if in one state it is happening, we could say, well, it's in that particular state. But if it's happening throughout the region, clearly there is a problem uh, that they're facing. And uh, it looks like um, in the future, uh, Congress will have a lot more problems that they're having now, and it's looking like um, they're becoming more and more irrelevant uh, in the political scenario uh, in the in the northeast region. Mr. Conrad Sangma, leader of the NPP and chief minister of Meghalaya, thank you very much indeed for talking to me on Notice Life. Thank you, Vaspi. Thank you so much.